The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN. Tom's going to join us after the first break. Checking in on the markets, S&P is positive by 25 points this morning. NASDAQ positive by 96. You get the Dow positive by 183. That all coming on the heels of the headline this morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Weekly jobless claims, 4.4 million, bringing the five-week total to more than 26 million jobs. For some context, that is wiping out all the job gains over the last 11 years from the Great Recession. We've added 22 0.4 million jobs since November of 2009. Pretty remarkable. All of that plus some 26.5, the number now total. Hopefully we get a V rebound in a lot of those jobs, mass layoffs, hopefully mass furloughs turning into mass hires when all this is done. Nonetheless, startling numbers for sure. Checking in on the indices, the Dow 30, 23,525. S&Ps up there at 20. 812 right now looking at the June futures contract Nasdaq 100 trading at 8729 crude catching a bit above $17 at $17 and 13 pennies gold 1757 and the euro US dollar 10793 start things off let's jump over to our man Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade Network Check out Fast Market, folks, right after this program. You want to talk about defined risk, options, earnings season, lots of action going on. Kevin Hinks, good morning. Good morning, Tommy O'Brien. How's everything? Everything is going day. well. We got to start the show here. Uh, I, you know, today is one of those days, Tommy, where it's a couple things working, right? I think it's a calm crude oil market is leading to a calm stock market, and then the other thing affecting the market today, I think the jobless claims number, though enormous in its size, the eyeball test, right? A four handle on jobless claims is not a five handle and people are seeing and this market is attaching itself to Tommy uh, improvement incremental improvement in the overall market and I think that's what you're seeing here Tommy yeah I mean you take out some of the volatility just around uh, the probability of a huge um, number right away from estimates the, the estimate was about 4.3 million jobs it comes in 4.4 I think a lot of people uh, it's really tough to peg that number we could get a surprise and the market kind of liking the fact I would agree we had a six handle right we're at to 26 million this week maybe 4.4 maybe we see that number as a trending down remarkable to be trending still at 4 million um, but I, but I and I agree on the oil front, Kevin. We have oil. I mean, a 17 handle. We were down at six dollars and sixty cents. Things really calming down, even from yesterday. Uh, trading basically at session highs right now. Uh, we had Target out there this morning, right? Talking about seven percent sales, but talking about everybody's buying lower margin items. Target with some volatility this morning. Uh, what are you guys going to be talking about on the program today, Kevin? Um, with the earnings season and volatility in general. Right. Uh, the, obviously, the big name today is Intel. We're going to be doing an earnings play and talking about Intel. And then we're going to be talking about Verizon. You know, Verizon is unique, Tommy, because it is primarily an American company. They stay pretty much within the borders of the U.S. So they don't have the currency risk. They don't have any exposure to China or the, any of those other areas in Asia or Europe. So we're going to trade uh, Intel today and Verizon, and like Folio, it's going to cover Verizon as well. Perfect. I'm going to be listening. My mom uh, was a longtime Verizon employee, just retired like a year ago or so, but I know she's still, she still got a few Verizon shares, I think, in her retirement, so I'll be tuning in for sure, Kevin. Um, how about the VIX uh, as this market charges higher, Kevin? We're now at a 39 handle, backing off a bit, yep. e even after the market action we've been having. Um, when, you, when you look at that, what do you think of with the VIX coming under 40 in this market right now? Here's the way I look at it, Tommy. I thought last two weeks we were extremely bullish in this rally going up, and VIX was under pressure. I thought the crude oil market on Monday and Tuesday really put the jitters in the overall stock market, and you saw that 
by the activity. Now, the calming crude oil market is another week closer to getting out of this pandemic. I think that, uh, you know, this was, this is just the second day of a relief rally coming off the jitters that Monday caused with the crude oil trade. So yeah, I mean, that, as the that's... dust settles on crude oil and things start to fire back, I think VIX will resume kind of a downward uh, trajectory, at least until the next big headline comes out, Tommy. Sure. I mean, I have the, the crude chart up there, and you're, you're exactly right, man. Both of them um, kind of inverse charts, as in when crude was tanking, right. the VIX was going up. As uh, the crude markets rebounded, you've seen the VIX pull back a bit for sure. Well, Kevin, we look forward to the show, man. Lots of action. Earnings season, jobless claims, of course, this morning. We got a positive market. We got a VIX back under 40. Uh, we look forward to the program, man. I'm going to check that out with Intel, Verizon, of course. And listen, you have a, a great day, a great weekend, and we look forward to talking to you next week. We look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me on, Tommy. Always a pleasure. You too, man. Have a great one, Kevin. Thanks. All right, folks, jumping back to a couple other news stories that are top of the headlines this morning. So I mentioned Target to Kevin. Target seeing Cyber Monday-sized online sales boom as shoppers avoid limit trips to the stores during the pandemic. The number jumping out here, 7% increase in same-store sales for its fiscal first quarter. But that headline, the next one coming, as the shares tumble. The retailer also said first quarter profits will be hurt by higher costs. So they have higher costs. The retailer is spending more on labor, selling fewer high margin items. That, I believe, one of the keys there as well. You got costs going up and you have people purchasing very low margin items, right? Household items, not purchasing the, the typical, maybe it's apparel, high margin type items. Those items actually building up in surplus. But same day online sales have especially gained popularity. 7% same store sales. I mean, just a remarkable number of same store sales for a company like Target during this time. But Look at the action on Target. You trade down to 98, and then we pop to 103.39, though. I imagine, yeah, a lot of these companies, right? You're going to be dealing with some profitability problems, essentially, maybe. Even when you're accelerating your revenue growth, the companies like Target, Amazon, Walmart, some of the household staples, Procter & Gamble, Campbell's Soup, uh, it's coming with higher costs, potentially. Amazon can barely keep up. They're having to hire people. They've raised wages. Um, but in the long run, when people come into that ecosystem, we'll jump over to Amazon as we take a look at that. Growing revenue, I mean, it's the typical Amazon deal, right? You, as long as you're growing revenue, profitability will come. Amazon, um, Target posting 7% same store sales since their fiscal first, uh, first quarter began in the early February is when that began, they're talking about, 7% and you punish that company just because they have some higher cost and the margins aren't there, if they're growing that revenue 7% same store sales in the long run, I imagine that's gonna be very beneficial for a company like Target. Amazon shares up an additional 2% today, quite a number. Walmart shares down about 8 tenths. One of the other companies that uh, we'll see where these all fare in terms of lows, just interesting thinking about the fundamental take on things. If people are at home, are they going to start buying more items at home? You fix your home up. Are you spending more time in your home? Uh, Lowe's hasn't really kept up the way Home Depot has, but Home Depot in the positive slightly this morning so far, up 30 cents. Stay tuned, folks. We come back from the program. Tom will be joining us. We also get natural gas inventories coming up at 1030 Eastern time on Thursday. We'll take a peek. S&P is up 28 points. Dow up 206 now. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other Tigers and Tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Appreciate your growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 200, Nasdaq's up 86, S&P's up uh, 28, gold. Gold up uh, 20 bucks, 17.59. We got silver up 26 cents. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good Thursday morning. Good How are we doing? We're doing great. And, folks, uh, if you happen to be in the metals market, this is liftoff. Uh, you know, we've been uh, basically uh, looking at this, uh, well, we've been in this market for a while. In the past six weeks, you get some of these equities up 100%, folks. Yes, you heard that right, 100%. That being said, uh, when I say liftoff, what you have out here today, you get the XAU. We've been talking about the seven-year consolidation. The XAU is taking it out. It's blowing it away today. Price, volume, all of the above. 114 was the number. 114.71. You're at 119. And if you want to see, when I talk about liftoff, uh, we, just go, we can go to Newmont first. When Newmont... Made the lift, okay? This is like crazy. This is like what Amazon did, Tom, right? You know, okay. That long consolidation. So sure. just, just look at it. This is crazy. Newmont, so the lift off in Newmont was $44, okay? You're up 50% in two weeks. <laughs> and, and what that is, it, it, you know, it's a seven-year consolidation. Uh, the next one, and it did it, uh, bottom line was Barrick. Uh, bottom line with Barrick, you're up another two bucks right now. And you take a look at Barrick, and the, but the price on Barrick, the liftoff was, uh, let's see, $23.47. And in Barrick's case, okay, so check this out. This is, I think they only, this only took it out two days ago. <laughs> so it's pretty amazing. What, what, what did I say? Is that say $24? Okay, so it took it out, uh, yeah, no, five, ten days ago. Yeah. It's pretty amazing, though. Um, that's that's uh, it, it. Really, is uh, pretty wild. Uh, S and P's. We'll see where these babies are going to go. Yesterday, you know, we went up with tremendously light of volume. Bottom line, it, it, they're bidding it up right now. No two ways about that. Uh, we'll see if this thing uh, can stick. You know, I, I was listening to uh, your show, and then you and Kevin Hanks on the way in. And uh, you, you know what is interesting? What even what Kevin did say is that. That four handle on the jobs versus the five or six, and I thought that you know I says okay, well it's it's less than I think the last two weeks didn't we get six and six? 
I believe something like that. I believe so. Yeah, you know. So. I, I I I saw something. The, the the trend is down. You know for sure. From from the initial, it was three million something on the first kind of half week where things were just beginning. Then it went to six, and then I think six and maybe right. five point something. Um, right. But you know, and that's what I was kind of expressed is that the risk is all to a lot more jobs than that, right? As in, we know it's gonna be a million, two million, three million, four million. That's like guaranteed. I don't wanna say guaranteed, but yes. it's at least gonna be that. So the worry, the risk factor, the tail factor is almost that somehow there's huge layoffs, businesses could only go a month, they thought they could be back, now they're seeing maybe they're gonna have to do more, maybe you get a surprise nine million or something. That's what I, you know, that's what I would say is, is kind of taken out of the equation when you get the four. The market says, okay, we're not gonna get anything crazy this morning yeah no and I think it, it, the longer this has gone on I mean I think we're all gonna have different views maybe every week uh, you know in general but this is telling me that uh, the amount of people that are gonna be able to open back up uh, is not gonna be great that's that's the real bottom line I mean hey look at this okay Th this just says quite a bit this is gonna get interesting you had Charlie Munger come out last night. Let me see if I can find this for you. Yeah, here it is here. So this is Warren Buffett, folks, okay? But this is Charlie Munger, okay? That's his partner, right? And the bottom line is that he came out yesterday saying that he thinks some of his businesses inside, now they call these small businesses, Tom, right? Inside. I read Earth, this, yeah. Is that, that they're not going to open back up. Now, yeah, he the, said right there the quote. Just say we've got a few businesses, small ones, but I agree that that context of small is not very small when they're talking about a Buffett business. Um, we won't reopen um, when this is over. We got a, we got a few businesses, small ones. We won't reopen when this is over. He told the journal without naming names. Right. That's a strong statement, man, oh, from one of the guys running Berkshire Hathaway, huge, right? Huge. Yeah. And, and I don't know what the exact number is, just as you were saying, but a small business to them, folks, I suspect is like, you know, 1,500 really small businesses. I mean, you're talking just, yeah. it's... Well, that's because a big business to them yeah. is GE or Delta Airlines, you know? Yeah. Or, <laughs> All right. And forget, yeah, I mean, they, the, the, uh, their positions, their positions right. inside the, the airline business, uh, that's devastating period do you know what i mean hey, how about we jump over to natural gas all right oh, Not, yeah. uh, good all the things coming down um you know crude really we're up at 1750 now i'm just going to jump over because we do get the natural gas inventories at 10 30 on thursday like we don't have a lot of enough action coming down the line right right um all right, let me refresh this to get all the bids. So we're trading at 189. This contract, man, quite a pop. You put it on, even put it on like an hourly, you back things up to Thursday. So in a week, Tom, we traded from 155 last Thursday when we were looking at this, and you were up to almost $2 well, yeah, by Monday. Yeah, 194. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, right. Huge. Remarkable. Uh, yeah. So jumping back into the spreads we have going on right now, natural gas. Let's see what kind of moves we have till noon even. We're trading at 188 right now. You have some options with 190. Um, you're 1.1 pennies away. A little bit of a bid offer spread, but just for some context, if you wanted to be bullish, you're buying a little bit of out of the money. Let's see what that's going to cost you. It's going to cost you about $41. Yeah, so you're getting it at $194. they are making you pay five pennies above premium. Some decent volatility priced into that when you get 40 cents of movement in a couple days last week, right? Oh, yeah. Big time. Big time. And what are we looking Could you jump over to the whisper? After you yeah. got it, take a look. Uh, Let's see what we got. We got whisper number out here, natural gas. Let's see. Natural gas. Number 30 right there. Thank you. 30. Okay, so they're looking for really close, right? The whisper number's 49, the survey's number's 45. That's, that'd be a build in both cases, right? Yes. And, you know, the way that is looking, I'm, so I'm going to go with, like, 40. You know, they just closed the, oh, I just the bidding, it. unfortunately, okay. by five, five minutes, yeah. Because yeah. that, that, that chart looks like it still wants to go higher. I mean... You know, okay. That thing's big. Now, is that deviant or what, right? I, <laughs> Natural yeah. gas has been going down forever, right? Now, yeah. And now the, you get the aspect that, you know, we know the oil market is full, you know, and when the oil market. Well, actually, you know what's kind of interesting here is that the amount of natural gas, if they're shutting down wells, would get less. That's interesting, you know, just in general, because they have to flare all that gas, right? They, they've been getting rid of gas forever. Uh, but yeah, you know, they now, all kind of yeah, gas is a byproduct, folks, 
of the oil market. You know, I mean, some of it, not not all of right. it. You know what I mean? But that, No, that, but it is. Like yeah, that. that'll affect it for sure. Yeah, so hey, what happened with Tiger? I heard you talking about Tiger. So they, Tiger had Pretty big, interesting, big man. numbers, right? Yeah, I but mean, you know. They, they sold it down. They sure did, and then they bought it back up on the open, though. You're down less than 3% right now. We had been up, um, down, I'm loading the chart right now. We had been down to a 98 handle pre-market. We're sitting at almost 103.68 right now. For some yeah. reason, my chart's not loading, but maybe uh, yeah, you got the, it. That's Perfect. That's the price. That's the price. Yeah, right. So, um, you know, you open at 100. The, the numbers out there in terms of the raw news, it was first it's that 7% same store sales so far, which is just okay. a remarkable number. But they have higher costs, and people are buying lower margin items, basically, so profits are going to suffer. But man, if you're growing 7% right now in this environment, what happens when the economy is booming again in a year or two, right. and you have all of those orders? And so I think that's where you see this morning market um, rebounding target share. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. On Thursday, April 30th, I'll be holding an all-day online seminar where I'll teach you the essentials of my trading methodology, Timing the Trade. From 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with a lunch break from noon to one, I'll be covering quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and much more, all while the market is open in real time. When you sign up, I'll mail you a physical copy of my best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, an $88 value. You'll also receive a free month of my daily trading newsletter, Market Insights, $169 value. This six-hour online seminar will be archived if you can't attend the entire day live. My Time in the Trade webinar is taking place Thursday, April 30th, so don't wait to sign up. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, natural gas. So uh, 43 BCF, Tom. Okay, so a little bit less than they were looking for, right? Yep, a little bit less. And um, so as a result, we do have the market popping a bit. Um, I mean, we're up, a, it looks like nothing on this chart, man, because we get such moves. Now, this is an hourly I think I have. Let's put it back on a 15-minute. And there's your pop from about under 190 to 192. Now, just for some context, though, remember, this was trading 
um, and you're up a bit, but you were trading, what was it, about three to four pennies, basically? They were making you pay 41. It was 194 um, was your break even to the positive side on that. So they were pricing in some volatility, even though you got three pennies of movement. We'll see, but the, um, yeah, looks like bullish would have been the way to go on that uh, right out of the gate. Yeah, pretty wild, man. This, this whole energy deal <laughs> is oh, something else, there's no doubt. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here and see what we had. Now, yesterday was a big contraction of volume, folks. We'll see what we get out here today. You got uh, Snap is down uh, 54 cents. Uh, that was up. Uh, that was a monster yesterday. You got uh, Advanced Micro up a dollar 18. We have uh, let's see, Delta is up 27 cents. Uh, Apache is up uh, 122. That's an oil driller. Exxon uh, 190. Now these. This is what this Exxon and Chevron is pretty intriguing, actually. You know, that you, you have oil, you know, down at lows, but yet, you know, Exxon's off its low of $30, and you're at 44 bucks, man. <laughs> and Chevron the same way. So it's, uh, this, is, this is just a, and, you know. I, just, I was looking at it as well, right? And it's interesting. I mean, you know, at some point, man, oil is going to be around. These companies oh, yeah. are going to be around. Um, and, and maybe it's to the point that you're going to see a consolidation. The smaller companies aren't going to survive. These companies are going to survive. Maybe I think they, that's it. I think, yeah, I think that's what we're actually looking at here, that, yeah. that the pricing power will probably get a lot bigger, folks, okay, because a lot of these shale, you know, companies, definitely, they're, they're going to be out of business, so there's, there's no yeah. two ways about it, you know what I mean? So, like, with Exxon, uh, that $46 wants to get hit, man, it could, that could be an ABC structure up, and, you know, Exxon, as well as Chevron, uh, they led oil down. I mean, we're talking a couple of years, too. I'm not talking, you know, so it's like, man, you can see Chevron, you know, that came off the low of, what, 51 bucks. You're at 87. Sure. And it looks like 89 is game, and we'll see whether it can basically blow it through those numbers, man. It's pretty... Hey, did you see, uh, in terms of the Tyson food um, plant being suspended in Iowa that produces all the pork... I, I heard you. Uh, the... So it's, the, you know, these are these are interesting stories, man. You know, oh, I, I'd yeah. say I, I wouldn't tell somebody to hoard and stock up, but if you want a lot of meat in your fridge, man, there 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 may be a, a little bit of a shortage of meat coming down as, you know, these packing plants and, and these breakdowns. There's just so many people that that work in them. Some of them, this plant alone, twenty. Yeah. yeah, this this plant alone employs almost three thousand people, twenty eight hundred workers. And um, I believe they're at over 100 or 180 people um, had tested positive or were coming from that one plant in particular. So they have to shut that down. And that plant alone is re responsible for 19,500 hogs per day, yeah. or what's almost 4% of the pork processing capacity. Um, and you know, it's wild. It get, and, and you can Google pictures of this, folks. Okay, now I was lucky enough when. When I started in the food business, Tom, right? So I'm going back to 1970 now, folks, right? Oh, but okay. In Boston, no. <laughs> in Boston, they had a huge meat packing. Uh, it was a whole, basically, it was, oh, my God, it had to be like two or 300 acres, right? Okay. And this is right, right in Boston, folks. And, and at that particular point, you used to be able to actually go right into the plant. I used to go right into the plant, buy the meat right off them. So I got used to... The meat packing plant itself, because it, this is how bizarre it is. You'd have all the carcasses, right, and all the workers, and you'd go right in there and say, "Okay, I want this, this, and this." And if you ever seen one, folks, okay, it's number one. It's pretty disgusting. But number Not for two, the faint of heart, it is. But number two, <laughs> everyone is right next to each other. I mean, you, okay. and at that point, yep. they were. I don't, it wasn't as automated. You know what I mean? It was all butchers. Sure. Uh, but let me tell you something, you know, there is no such thing as social distancing inside a uh, plant like that. It's not you even, can't social distance right, 3,000 right. workers, right, um, no right. matter how big the plant is, man, yeah. and that's evidenced by that. And so, you know, that they'll, they'll get it together, they'll be back opened, but... Um, in the short term, you're, you're seeing repeated stories about that, you know, oh, yeah. in terms of meat processing plants um, and how things will play out. You know, I, I read an interesting story since we're on it about, now this is calming down, but it was about the first wave of people stocking up and hoarding. And what was happening was that they were selling ground beef like hotcakes, right? Because yeah. everybody would just go in, they want beef. They want beef, they want some chicken, That's right? A, yeah. Um, 
and and normally the cows, you know, the the prime cuts are going to restaurants, right? They're in they're in supermarkets as well, but a lot of the best cuts go to restaurants, and then you have you know steaks and ground beef go to the stores. So all of the ground beef's getting sold. None of the premium cuts is getting sold. So you might so you might see this deal where ground beef becomes a premium product that's price premium. You're going to see you might be able to get some great prices for really great cuts of beef right now um, because no restaurants are picking up that supply when they normally do. So something to keep Isn't your that eye bizarre? on. It. I know. It is. I was a cool article, yeah. man. And just in yeah. terms of, uh, you know, and, and my shopping practices are identical, man. I love steak, but guess what? When we were, when I was hitting the grocery store, I was buying ground beef because it's simple. Okay. You can freeze it if you want to, some yeah. chicken, um, you know, so it's, it's I'm, I'm not the only one, obviously. Yeah. Pretty wild, I'll buy man. some nice premium steaks though at a discount, man. I can but get into that that's, too. That's you know there there's no doubt there there's no doubt. It, 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 pretty wild. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, let's go take a look. You know, let's go take a look. We just talked. We talked about the XAU. That's a, that's a breakout. The gold bugs index, folks. Uh, I don't think it'll break today, but it looks like uh, I suspect it will break tomorrow. It's it's really close. I think we're. Like two or three points away from it. So the gold bugs index, that number would be uh, 286. Actually, we hit 28536 today. So this is going to get really intriguing. And when I talk about a liftoff, what you have is that because this consolidation is so long, folks. Okay, uh, the liftoff thus far, like the HUI. The, well, if we look at Newmont, the liftoff would take the gold bugs index up to 638 dollars. <laughs> That's how that's how dramatic this thing is. Sure, you, you know, it's been so decimated. Yes, yeah. it is. It's, so it's really it's wild. Yeah, man. let's go to uh, John in Orlando. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, good morning, John. How are you, how you doing? I'm doing good. Morning, great. John. Yourself? Uh, uh, what do you think about the uh, Netflix action the last few days? Well, you got you know, I mean, they 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 come out with numbers. They're good numbers. You know, I suspect this thing's going to go for the highs again. You know. What we did is this. On, let's see. What day is today? Thursday. So Tuesday, you see that bar on Tuesday? That's pushing the high with yeah. volume. That's 23 million pushing into uh, 16. So that says to me that guess what, man? This thing's going to go for it once again. You know, you're up 12 bucks right now, but because that that was pretty deviant yeah. anyway. That they they had the subscribers. You know, uh, Reed Hastings is saying uh, that you know, he's, still, he's just worrying in the future, and it, to me. I, I kind of like the idea that the guy's worrying in the future. I think we all should be worrying in the future, man. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? That's true, yeah. That, you know, yep, yep. you just need you need a plan. That's that's the, the bottom line, folks. That they can say that they don't have any guidance, but they need some kind of a plan. Just stay right there, John. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 327. NASDAQ up 122. S&P's up 39. We're coming right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 372, Nasdaq's up 136, S&P's are up 44. So, John, do you own uh, Netflix right now? Yes, I do. Oh, good. Uh, two days ago, before earnings, I was taking, like, the rolling of the dice, but uh, it, it went down yesterday, and I'm still holding on, though. Yeah, so I, you know, by, it, yeah. now, what's your goal here? Besides well, making money, three, three to five percent, you know, from here, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. You know that four forty nine is game, man. So I mean, what, what I would make yeah. sure you do. Let's picture that if you get it to so the bottom of this three. Yeah. See what's ha what's happening right now. You want this thing to close anywhere when it's in like that. See how we're at four thirty three right now, and the low of the high yeah. is four thirty one. And we actually right. went to 438. That, that's a nice deal, man, that you're already digging into the high. And you're going to have volume out here today. That high had 16 million shares, and we already did 5.3. And, you know, it's, what, quarter of 11 or something. Do you know what I mean? Which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I want to I wanna ask you, um, this is the first time in my life I bought gold. Uh, I'm listening to you uh, and thinking the market is not in good condition. So I went into gold, Barrett and uh, GDS. Okay. I wanted to know, what do you think of the ounce? How far will it get? So what you want to do is this. The, the correlation between the gold price, of course, and the equities, okay, is huge. The way that you should yeah. look at it, though, you want to look at it separately because the gold contract itself, if you, if you, the gold contract, folks, okay, they can move around in a second 50 bucks. Even when it's been down $50, the equities haven't responded, meaning that they haven't gone down. If you look at Barrick, Barrick's at 28 bucks right now. We were just talking about how that breakout came in. Barrick, you know, is game to 30 bucks in about a heartbeat, but Barrick is really, really game up to $55 right now, near 28 on a longer term basis. Oh. Um, wow, nice. Yeah, nice. it's a big number. Uh, the GDX, when you take a look at the GDX, oh, they, so I'm glad you just brought that, because the GDX is also. Now, this might have broke. If this broke topside, too, this would be insane because the GDX was in the same setup. It did. Okay, so the GDX, the number on the GDX, yeah, it did. $31.79. So that's saying, you know, on a short-term basis, you know, you're talking about like somewhere around 46 bucks. You're at 34 on a you know, longer-term basis. That high is game now, which is 66. So. Oh, love it. Love Hold on for the ride. And when you hear too many gold, Alrighty. when you hear too many gold calls coming in, John, sell. Okay, because that's what's going to okay. end up happening. And okay. I suspect we're going to get a lot of them. Cooking, brother. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Have All a right. great one, man. Have a safe one. Uh,
Thursday, Tom, right? Thir no, next Thursday? Is it this Thursday? What day is it? Today's Thursday. It, it okay. is Thursday. So, You're talking about next Thursday. Go next, for it. Next Thursday, exactly. Next Thursday, folks. You know, and when we're talking gold, you're talking about ABC structures on the way up, on the way down, uh, all of the above. If you really want to understand price projections, folks, I'm going to do a lot more than price projections. But I'm doing a live webinar next Thursday. I haven't done one for two or three years. Uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, 4 in the afternoon. We're going to be talking quality, volume, confluence, ABC structures on the way up, on the way down, uh, swing points. Uh, check it out. What you get with the workshop is that you're going to get a copy of my book, which is $88. You get my newsletter, which is $189. And then you'll get a great webinar all day long. So if you really want to understand how price and volume move markets, folks, uh, check it out. And you'll be archived. You can go over it as many times as you like. And when we talk about ABC structures, I can show you right out here today just how many there are. We've been talking about this in the gold market anyway, because the gold market has been doing ABC structures on the way up. And you got a bunch of them out here today. Uh, small stocks, big stocks, doesn't matter which one you have. Uh, Vista Gold. Vista Gold blowing away a B point today. The B point has 457,000 shares. Guess what, folks? You've already done 438. So that's trading 80 at 70 cents. That price projection is 85. You know, um, there is, there's a lot of them too, man. Uh, yeah. I was thinking earlier, man, that, you know, it was so hard for traders overall when the market just went straight up. Great for investors, great for some traders making long-term bullish bets, right? But in terms of trading, any type of volatility not there. In terms of using Fibonacci retracement numbers, how can you retrace when the market just goes up 1% so to 2% every month? That's right. Month that's, over month over month. month. But that's... now, man, there's... There's numbers. I mean, I just found myself during the break. I was just taking a look at, I, think, I believe it was the S&Ps. It was something. I was looking at the pullback. Maybe it was Netflix. And, you know, you do one retracement from the whole move down from February to the lows of March. But then you do another retracement from how far we've retraced the gains already. They're everywhere. So it's pretty cool. It's a great time to do it. It is. It, and what's wild, what, what I wish I could figure out is that inside the Fibonacci sequence, folks, for some reason, these absolutely hit much, it seems, I mean, I don't have the number, but they're more consistent on volatile markets. That's the real bottom line. That's just, yeah. how, you know, it just is. Because it's, you think you're Kong, King Kong, man, in the middle of volatile markets, okay? Sure. Newmont. Newmont's another ABC up. Now, this is a monster, man. This, this Newmont deal is. So look at this. Newmont needs 11 million shares today, right? We're at 2.6 already. And this is a monster ABC up, okay? This will take it to the highs. So the B point on this is 61.53. Your A is 44. So it's at about $17, right? Is that so? Sorry, say that again. So the, the, the B point is uh, 61.51. Okay. The A point is uh, 44.50. So is that seven? Yeah, $17. So, and the C point is 57. So you're talking what, 67, 70, 70, Three bucks. 75. 70, 70, 74, 75, yeah. So watch this, folks, okay? This, that's going to be the high. And your high, your yeah, all-time right high there. is 70. So this is cool. So, all, so 74 to 75 was the ABC structure, Tom, right? Yes. Okay. So watch this, folks. This is what's really cool. And this is what's cool about price projections. It doesn't mean you get them all the time, but you can get more clarity inside a market. So the price projection here is 74 to 75. What that is saying is that it's going to overtake its all-time high. Now, that's really cool, folks, in the aspect if you are bullish in or bearish in a sector or a market. Because if you are paying attention inside the metals market, okay, the bottom line is that that's going to hit an all-time high. Franco Nevada is up another $5.67 that this is already, at, uh, uh, this is the, I mean, this is like insane. This went from a low of $77, we're at 136 right now. Um, so it's pretty cool uh, just watching the whole thing shake out. Inside, if you happen to own the South Africans, okay, you, you'll see this. I was watching this last night at like 4 o'clock in the morning. This was a okay. mind blower. <laughs> oh, this is, I, I got this up in Rand dollars now. Look at this. The, the South African equities folks went parabolic last night. I mean, big time. You, you, this is not the U.S. market. This is uh, in South Africa. Okay. So this is in Rand dollars. But I knew as soon as it was going... And they were coming out with numbers, and they're making money hand over fist, and I'll show you why, because watch this. When we put gold up, 
This is like crazy. I'm gonna put gold up and I'm gonna get it in Rand dollars. And when you see this, it's hard to comprehend. That's a perfect teaser for the break, man. It certainly is, man. Stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back. We'll get you those Rand numbers, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed. And I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, an essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 364, Nasdaq's up 126, S&Ps are up 43. And if you are watching Tiger TV, folks, this is hard to comprehend, but the bottom line is that this is the RAND, this is gold in RAND dollars. <laughs> so, so, so check this out. So in, in the United States, folks, the all-time highs are 2011. Well, in 2011, the miners in South Africa would get $14,742 per uh, Rand dollars per ounce. Ready for this? This is up more than 100%. Right now, they are getting 33,151 do Rand dollars per ounce. And what's so important about this is they still pay all their employees in Rand versus, so they, they get paid in U.S. dollars, they pay out in Rand dollars. And it's exponential. And so yeah. today what you have out here is that, you know, the South Africans' gold equities are, you know, basically up about 12% where the 
regular gold equities are up about 5%. You know, that's what you're seeing. Isn't that, isn't that amazing, though? I mean, that's like... It's huge, man. It's, it is. It's I like, know. It's, I've seen it many times just from, uh, we were talking know, to Ferdy, the, right? I mean, we, we understand it because, I mean... Some of the, I just happen to, but for those that don't, man, and, and you see it, it's startling. Um, I mean, hopefully people in South Africa had invested some money in some gold that are living there, man, because that's a huge acceleration for them if you're if you're just living off Rand, you know? South Africa, oh. gold, gold rich. Hopefully some of the people there, that's where you see the love for gold, especially um, in, in countries that may see their currency weakened. Oh, sure. Here, we'll do this one quick. Watch this. Let, we get it. Let's do it. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Until this we'll afternoon. We'll save it for tomorrow or Until this afternoon. Until this afternoon. Exactly. That's right. Three o'clock. Perfect. Four Listen, folks, right stay now. right there. We got uh, Think of Swim coming up next. And I'm Mr. Basil Chapman riding that wave. Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Ride him, cowboy. Yeah. Okay.